going to start uh, changing the regular tires and wheels out, the pneumatics to a run flat tire and wheel. Here's what they look like. I want to set it up beside it, and you can see the difference. Of course, this one's got a load on it. It does look like it might be a little higher. But there's what they look like. So we're going to go ahead and change these out. We're going to use a grease gun, put a little bit of grease on the axle. This uh, socket is a 19 millimeter with a 3 inch drive and a crescent wrench to take it off. I'm going to jack it up here a little bit. Don't need it very high, just enough to get it off and put a couple of jack stands under here. Just for safety purposes. And we'll proceed to take this thing off. As you know, the nut is on the inside, the axle bolt will be, the head will be on the outside, which is over here. Having a little bit of trouble getting it off. Go ahead and pause it for a minute. We'll go ahead and start it. We're going to tap this out to get it started. It's like it's in the bind. I thought you said there was a sleeve in there. Is there a sleeve? Here's the axle. Sleeves? Nope. Well, they're not the same size, are they? Nope. Oh, Pause. So we're gonna have to punch it out. Just come out on this side and stop. You see the bolt we stuck in there a little bit. We have to kind of beat it out on the sleeve. It's coming out right here. There we go. Not quite out yet. There it is, I got it. I think we'll put a little grease on this before we stick it back in. It slides in here. Yeah, we're going to need to clean it up a little bit first. White grade emery here to smooth it up so to slide in the housing easier. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're putting a little bit of grease on this sleeve so it'll be easier to go in. I had to clean it up with some emery, make it kind of smooth again. It's been in there since 2019 when I bought the mower, so that's why it's in the condition it's in. This is probably going to end up being a two-person job because I got my hands greasy. Tap it right on in there. And we'll have to do the other wheel just the same way, so 
Ready? We're going to go ahead and grease the uh, axle just a little bit too. Put a little bit of grease on it. We'll let the jack down a little bit so we can get it work. It might be too much. Is that too much? So close. You want to walk around the other side? Walk around. Come back around this way. We're putting the uh, axle in with the nut on it right now. We'll be tightening it up here in a few minutes. And to do the other side, it'll be exactly the same way. Just uh, take it apart that we did and reverse it, putting it back in. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll show you the end of it on the other side when we get it complete. This one is a little better than the other one. It uh, had a little bit of grease in it. It's not quite as rusted as the other sleeve. As you can see on the ends here, it was pretty smooth in the center. And this is the other side on the other wheel. We had to beat it out, and the uh, part of the bearing came out with the sleeve, so we had to put the sleeve or the bearing back in the, the hub. That's okay, we have this back together on both sides. I'm going to spin the wheel. It spins freely. We'll wobble it back and forth. There's no play in it. And as you can see, you get a close-up here, and there's a little bit of a gap here on this fork. And there's one on this side too, just not quite as much, but that's the way it's supposed to be for the spin. We'll check the other side out. Spins freely too. No wobble. And you can look at the inside here and the outside over there. Let's see what they look like. Okay, YouTubers, it's all together. We're going to put her down and try it. Thanks for watching and give me a like. Well, it looks like everything's turning right, free turn freely on the no flat front tires. It's crazy because he did the work. What? Okay, YouTube. Here's a comparison of the new run flats on the lawnmower with the old ones, the pneumatics on the outside. They look like they're pretty much the same size as you can see there. The axles at the same distance. And the same thing. Okay, there you go. Give me a like and thanks for watching.